Hi everybody, it's Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio and today I am working on another sampler quilt and this one is another 16 inch block and there's four blocks in the quilt so it's another small one and um, I've done the outer border and I'm getting ready to do the inner border and the blocks so I hope you'll stay with me and I'll show you what I'm doing with this quilt. Okay, so I am working on the first block and it's taken me a while to figure out how I want to do this, but I think I finally got it figured out. So I'm going to start in the center and work my way out. And I'm going to do some cross hatching in here. There's going to be feathers and other line work, but I'm going to start with a cross hatch here. And I need a ruler. And this is just something handy. This is a actually a compass. It's a ruler with some compass points on it and I use that for drawing big circles. But I need to find the center of these and the pen I'm using is a water or an air soluble pen. And these, this is a four inch square, so I'm looking for the two inch point right there. And I'm going to cross hatch the center. Okay, now for the this part here around here, I'm going to put feathers in here, um, which may seem like a strange place to do that, but um, I'm going to back stitch or stitch in the ditch. So we're going to do feathers. Is the feather. Now these little quilts that I've been making, um, I've been putting hanging sleeves on them and I'm hanging them up around my house. And I have a couple of wooden quilt rags or quilt hangers that my dad made for me years and years ago. And um, I've, I have them all hanging up in the house and they've had quilts on them for years ever since he made them for me but it's time to change them out so I need some new quilts this is stitch in the dish to kind of help separate the different designs Ok, 
Okay, now, when I um, first looked at this block, I had a really hard time figuring out what to do in it because, you know, it's, it's like a star or a big flower, and I wanted it to look like a star. Um, but with all these points and the different piecing, I had trouble figuring out how to do it. But this is what I finally decided on. So I'm just going to do some echo quilting here and I'm going to include this little triangle in with this piece here. And I'm just doing it a quarter inch away. the other side. to do the pink points and I'm going to do a kind of a point to point design here. Those are done. So let me, I'm going to finish the other three and then we'll move on to the background. Uh, background. I'm going to do cross hatch in the squares and then do some outline quilting here. So um, once again I need to mark centers
Okay, here is um, another star block. This is um, kind of a Jackson star variation. It has you know, a star in the center and then these stars on the outside with a little bit of background in them. So I'm going to start in the center again, work my way out, and uh, we'll see how this one goes. So I'm going to do cross hatch in here. And I don't need to mark anything with the pen because I can follow the seaming for all my landmarks. Okay, on this star in the center, I've done cross hatch in the center and I'm doing continuous curve on the star points. Now I also want to do it towards the center of the star points because these points not only are points to this star, they're also points to these stars here. So if I just do it on one side, they're going to look lopsided. So I'm going to do them all the way around. stop at this point and I could continue on but I wanted to stop and look at this first um, like this is background and this is background so I need to do something different in these I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pretend or treat this as the four patch here and maybe do something different here stars are all done and I believe I am just going to do cross hatch and all the squares and the rectangles and then I will do outline in the triangles.
Okay, there's the center. I'm going to go ahead and do a feather in here, even though it probably won't show much. Um, but uh, that way I've got kind of spread the feathers out a little bit. And I'm going to do a spin feather in here.
Thanks for watching. For more quilting ideas, click on the video links. And to keep up with my latest projects, click on the subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon.